Hello again everyone, Edwin Werner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about astrology and the death of Dracio the ruler. And um, some of you may have heard he had gotten uh, stabbed uh, last night. It was, um, he was, I believe he was going to be performing at some concert in Los Angeles and uh, California. And he got stabbed evidently. He was trying to intervene in some argument and... Uh, Tragically, I mean, he was stabbed, um, the stabbing led to his death, and um, very young, only 28 years old, um, terrible six day, I mean, well, at this time of this video, it's six days before um, before Christmas, and the thing is, um, this actually happened very close to the exact, the precise time of that uh, full moon in Gemini. You know, Gemini energy, I mean, can be very, you know, high-strung, excitable, restless, it's, uh, and unpredictable, and, um, and you're talking about the moon being about, you know, responses, it's reactionary, and you're talking about very excited, high-strung type of you know, responses, and at this time, and I'm going to talk about, um, some natal placements, uh, he has some transits, and, uh, ones that may have, you know, been connected sadly with this passing um, the thing is I want to um, offer if I didn't say at the beginning of the video I want to offer my condolences um, prayers to the um, family and close friends of um, of Dracchio the ruler and uh, then and anyway I want to talk about you know, some natal placements first that he has now I don't have a time of birth so again I had to improvise and do a solar slash sunrise chart in which I put the sun at the same spot as the ascendant. And his sun sign is Sagittarius, and sun sun and Sagittarius, of course, the basic character that can be one that is, um, of course, you know, very jovial, optimistic, expansive. The sun is also about the life, and it's a life that he lived. I'm sure that he was, you know one in which he always you know, wanted to expand horizons and one that he lived you know, with a lot of zest and uh, exuberance and enthusiasm and expansive energy as well now this again going back to you know, some nat continued natal placements and he also has the um the moon in cancer and having um the moon in um of cancer and based on the solar sunrise time it does um, at least make a loose well a loose in conjunct perhaps uh, to the sun in um, Sagittarius and you know, in conjuncts in astrology can often be about adjustments and uh, transitions as I've stated in previous videos that you have the sun it's an interesting combination because the sun and Sagittarius and you know, the basic wants can be connected with outdoor activities and venture and sports the moon and cancer emotional needs can be associated with more introversion home activities family related matters and i believe he did state something on dracchio the uh, ruler stated something about that he wanted to his goal was to get his family out of uh, out of poverty or, or, or some you know low income situation so that's the you know the um you know, the sun and Sagittarius being very positive as far as the basic character, then flavored by the Cancerian moon, and being very positive and optimistic in helping um, the family out. And I'm sure he was a very good provider um, to his family. And some other uh, placements I'm looking at that are interesting, okay, um, you know, based on the... Um, the solar sunrise chart a number of placements fall in that 12th house the 12th house is the you know the house of pisces but it's you know house of poetry as well and he was a, a rapper and it was interesting that they said he had you know there was a on the new york times um you know article online said something about him having like a sinister type quality to his you know music and what's interesting he's got um, Mercury in Scorpio, and Scorpio can be connected, you know, with sinister energy, and it's also conjunct Pluto in, in Scorpio, and he has Venus in Scorpio as well. His Mercury conjuncts 
is famous. Now, Merck, I, now I'm not 100% sure if he wrote any of his songs. I'm sure he did some writing, you know, some of his songs. So when you have, I mean, Mercury conjunct Venus by itself, I mean, could be very, um, be a very good aspect, I would say, for writing music. You know, Mercury, of course, is connected with writing. Venus is associated with music. And, and the fact that it's in Scorpio, maybe that has something to do with the sinister, maybe a little dark quality um, to it. And uh, the thing about this, too, what's interesting is that even though it's a solar sunrise chart, it does fall in the 12th house. And um, apparently he had wrote you know, some lyrics, um, sang some lyrics when he was in when he was incarcerated at one time. And the 12th house is the house of imprisonment and incarceration. Very interesting how that or how that pans out with him. Now another thing too is that in the um, solar sunrise chart he has Neptune conjunct Uranus um, in Capricorn, the sign of the career and ambitions in the second house of money. And um, you know Neptune can be connected with poetry. And you have um, Uranus is you know, innovative, it's about originality, and he has the conjunction to it. So that could indicate you know, uniqueness in writing uh, poetry. And also, too, um, there, there was something online that stated something, I don't remember exact words, something about you know, unique or eclectic style, and that, and that might have something to do with that with him. And um, another thing um, you know, I'm looking at, too, I mean, sadly, you know, again, he was, um, was stabbed um, you know, when this uh, occurred. And um, I want to get back to... Um, I want to tell, be kind and rewind. I was talking before about his son, um, Sagittarius, making the inconjunct of the moon in Cancer. Well, the fact what, what I described before, well, the fact that, again, an inconjunct can often be about an adjustment. And it could have been at times that he was expressing too much of the sun and Sagittarius energy, again, which is the basic wants. It could be connected with the outdoors and adventure and sports even. And, then you have the moon in Cancer, where the emotional needs, you know, tied in more with introversion of family. It might be where, you know, there might have been some distortion of energy, where at times he would show a lot of the sun in Sagittarius, and other times a lot of that moon in Cancer, not, you know, having that balance, perhaps, but with the energy. But another thing I, what I want to talk about, too, is as far as his, um, you know, his death goes well natally. I mean, he does have Pluto. You know, it's in, um, it's generational. It is connected. I mean, it is in the sign of Scorpio, which in Scorpio can be connected to sign connected with murder and death. It's also conjunct his Venus in that house of endings, the twelfth house, and this was happening when he was trying to intervene. You know, Venus is connected with peace. And I would say it can be associated with negotiation, mediation. And he acted to try to be a mediator. He wanted to try to intervene, really, and, and break this up. And it's in the sign of death, which is Scorpio, um, sadly. And um, he has the ruler of the eighth house um, in the solar sunrise chart, the zodiac sign Cancer. Um, falls on the uh, eighth house cusp so it's an indicator that the death could be more you know, somewhat emotional and something that was going to cause you know, a lot, you know something um you know maybe people would react you know, more sensitively to it than you know many other deaths now and also to the ruler of the eighth house the moon falls in the seventh house now i don't he didn't die I believe, due to an open adversary but this was um I mean, it's something where many people, you know, had seen perhaps maybe there was something. Um, I don't know if he may have been with a significant other at the time this happened. Um, this could be uh, something too. Um, I wonder where. I wonder if um, any of these people might have been a competitor of him as well. You know, somebody else that might have been involved in rapping people that were. You know, involved in the altercation because the seventh house is the house of competition. Now, another thing too is um, as far as um, you know, we look at 
there was certain um, certain transits uh, with him, and uh, at the time of his passing, I mean, sadly, yeah, transit Pluto was not far from his natal Uranus. I understand it's not conjunct as far as the uh, transit orbs that astrologers will use, but I don't think we can definitively say that, say, something is six degrees from another planet doesn't feel a vibration from it. Hold on a moment, people. Sorry about that, I'm back, but anyway. Now, another thing, um, and he also, um, and you're talking about transit Pluto near Uranus, that could be a very unanticipated, spontaneous, kind of you know, unusual way. You know, one may, may pass, uh, pass away, sadly. He also, um, the solar sunrise chart also has um, transit Chiron and Aries in the fourth house of the end of life. And Chiron can be about physical wounds. Then you have an Aries connected with something volatile, you know, stabbing. And Aries is associated with sharp and is ruled by Mars. It's connected with sharp instruments. Now, as well, in his um, in his natal chart, he has Mars, which is um, conjunct his natal sun. And right there, that could show a propensity greater proclivity perhaps for the physical sun could be connected with the physical body and Mars is connected with sharp instruments and um, where, where the contact with them can be you know there could be greater propensity for having contact with something you know the sharp or deadly instrument and this was something perhaps to do you know maybe you know reckless action by the person that stabbed him now there was a report on a TMZ website that that they felt that he may have been stabbed in the neck, but they said it wasn't confirmed. Now it's interesting in his natal chart he has Pluto conjunct Venus, and Venus rules the neck, and of course Pluto is associated with death. Another thing too, sadly, I noticed is that transit Mars in Sagittarius was not far from his natal north node. Um, in Sag, excuse me, in Sagittarius, transits that involve the North Node can be about issues one may have to address and confront. And Mars, of course, is connected with volatility, violence. It can be about stabbing. Being in um, Sagittarius, one that is you know, foolhardy, reckless. Um, this was over an argument. He, he tried to break up a well, he tried to break up a physical altercation. But as most many arguments have, it's a difference over, you know, could be a belief or philosophy on an issue. And Sagittarius is associated with those things. And um, again, this is just, I mean, you know, a terrible, you know, way for somebody to, 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 you know, to die. And you see a lot of these rappers that get you know, passed away at a relatively young age. Um, Draco, the ruler, was also going through the Saturn return um, at the time, and he was also in his Mars return. And again, this did happen very close to the, I believe, to the exact time of the um, the full moon in, in Gemini on on Saturday night in New York. I believe it was like around 11:30 p.m. when you had the exact opposition with the sun and the moon. And this took place at like um, 8.30, I believe 8.30 p.m. in Los Angeles. So it, it was very likely clo very close to that exact spot of the, um, the exact opposition of the sun and the moon, the exact point of the full moon in Gemini. And you, know, you have Gemini, very mercurial energy, of course. This is, um, and another thing. Another thing, too, sadly, is that you know at the time of this uh, his passing, he did have transit um, transit south node was not far from his natal Venus, and Venus could be connected with music, but again, it's also the throat when transit Saturn is making um, I'm sorry transit um, transit south node. I believe can affect things to the detriment, you know, where when it contacts something in your chart. And this could be something, the fact that it hit um, Venus, 
you know, obviously something you know to his detriment physically did occur if he didn't if, if he indeed got stabbed in the, in the throat again this was reported by TMZ but they but it wasn't 100 percent confirmed by them that the website the article on the website stated um, it's really not much more I don't think for me to say about this than what I've um, already um, had stated and um, again it's just um, just again it's a very um, very terrible um, you know, tragedy that had to you know, take place um, with this it's just something again you know you feel these things can be averted or avoided and you know and then again it's just something about you know, these rappers they, they a lot of them just seem to you know, pass away at a relatively early age and you know um, when Tupac you know passed away I know there's a there's a lot of people out there who speculated he's still alive and the death may have been fake but assuming he is gone I mean he was like what 27 or something when he died 26 27 maybe and uh, Draco the ruler is, is 28 and it's just um, it's just unbelievable that um, something like this you know, would happen but again um, my prayers and condolences go out to the family and uh, close friends of Draco the ruler anyway people uh, this is Edwin Leonard and until next time stay well